I'm Mallory and this is my tiny house. I like to call it the mushroom house. We are here in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Living in a tiny home has really helped me honestly find out who I am and help me grow up. I just have been able to really like express myself and I'm always excited to show it to people. It makes me feel like it's brought me out of my shell. I've always been kind of a shy, more introverted person. I just think I've become a different person from it just by sharing what it is to other people and really expressing my style too. I always had the intentions when I bought it. Was I was like, this is going to be different. Like I'm not going to make it like any other house. I want it to be crazy looking. <laughs> I wanted it to look really cute and fun. I grew up in Door County, Wisconsin, in a small town where I was always kind of outside and like growing up I was just always doing outdoorsy stuff. So when I moved to Waukesha, Wisconsin a year ago, I bought my tiny home where I live now. I call it the Mushroom House and um, I've been loving the lifestyle. So we're out here on my porch area. I do have this cute little pink table, which is actually where I will eat a lot of my meals if it's nice outside. So I do use the space a lot. I painted my mailbox and my numbers to match it because I think it's really cute. I used to have a really big, nice, beautiful tree out here. I had to get it taken down because I kept coming home to large branches all over my yard and I thought it was going to destroy my house because the tree was dying. So I had to take it out, but I did decorate it the best I could to make it still look cute and whimsical. So over here to the right side of my house, I have my shed, uh, which houses all of my outdoor gear, like my lawnmower and my camping stuff and just any extra clothes I'm not using. take a tour. Welcome into the mushroom house. I am living in 500 square feet of space. The downstairs is my living room kitchen and bathroom. The loft upstairs is my bedroom and closet space. Here we are starting in the kitchen. Um, as you can see, I've done some painting and some exciting stuff to really bring out my personality. I painted my fridge pink, did some accent walls, and I have some of my art in here. It's very fun. I don't have appliances that a large home would really have, like an oven or a stove, but I do have my stovetop and my convection oven. I've never really needed anything more than that. I get along baking and cooking just fine with these little appliances just as anyone would. My countertops are wrap. If I ever wanted to change it, I thought this would be a really good decision. I also wrapped the cabinets here and painted my knobs. So over here is my bathroom. It is Probably my favorite part of the house because I did a lot of work on it. It used to have a really big sink that took up a lot of space. So I made a lot of changes with that as far as like having a tinier sink. I did a little accent wall, but I really have a lot more space in this bathroom, which still isn't a whole lot. I have storage that I added as well um, in order to fit all of my lovely products. And over here is my shower. I did change the appliances on it to make it easier to shower as when I'm standing in it is very small. I was in a situation where I had to find a new place to live and I saw this house on the market and it just seemed like the best decision at the time financially and I've just always been okay kind of living small in general. so. It was the perfect opportunity. When I first toured it, it was, I mean, everything was gray. Like everything in here was gray. The walls, the floor, there was not a lot in here. It, truly, I only had to change things 
cosmetically because everything was functioning. It was perfectly, you know, livable. Although I, there's a lot of appliances I don't have. So it's while not ideal, it was, it was in perfect shape. Let's head out to the living room. My favorite part of my home is actually my fireplace. It is full functioning. I just don't use it because I think it would get a little too hot in here, but it is functional and it's really cute. I think it has kind of like that woodsy cabin vibe to it. So I did do a little bit of like a mural on my wall here. I just hand painted some art on here to tie in the height of the ceiling over here and some of my artwork is on the wall, of course. I wanted to tie in all of these fun, cool colors, and I thought this would be subtle where I didn't have to paint the whole wall, and it just adds to my accent wall that leads into the kitchen. So behind here is actually my electrical box. Oh, it's also hiding my little battery here for my mushroom light, which is just adorable. <laughs> I have heated floors, which is really nice because in Wisconsin it gets really cold in the winter and I do have electric heat, not gas. I normally don't even have to turn it on that high because the actually the heated floors keep it really nice and warm down here and it's actually not very expensive at all for me to have heat, probably $30 a month so it's relatively cheap. I am standing right in front of my stairway to get upstairs to my loft bedroom. It's a little scary at times because it's very steep, but um, at least it saves me some space in here so I can have the furniture that I have in the house. So here we are in my bedroom. It is a little more mushroom themed up here as it is Mal's mushroom house. I have my bed, really, is all that I have in here, and a, a dresser, and my nightstand. It's a hanging nightstand I found at Stein's. I just always thought it was really unique, so I wanted to hang it as a nightstand instead of it's supposed to be a planter for plants. Kind of unique. And I do also have my air conditioning unit over here in this window. I have this large mirror over here because it is hiding my water heater. It had to be somewhere, so it's upstairs in my bedroom. I have a queen size bed. There is storage underneath, which was kind of a must because I like clothes and I need somewhere to store them. So they have two drawers, one on each side. They're not huge, but they're just enough. And directly across from my bedroom is my closet. It's actually like the biggest closet I've ever had, which is super funny because <laughs> it's my tiny home, but it's perfect. I have all my clothes in here and my mushroom storage bin. I didn't build anything in here because it was perfect as is. It was on the market for a lot more than 172. I actually had to talk them down to it, but because the market was the way it was, it had been on for a while because I don't think it's the ideal living situation for a family, so it was perfect for me. So that's obviously very expensive, but I do have some property, so and I have a shed on my property. I don't think my friends or family were really surprised when I moved into a tiny home. I think at first my parents were like, you're crazy, this isn't a good idea. I don't know, what if something goes wrong, you know? But it's, it's still a house. It's a house like any other person's. They love it. They all love it. They think it's very exciting and they're all very proud of me. I think they're all very amazed that I can live in this environment. Like, I don't know how she does it, but <laughs> she's doing it. It's humbling every day. Like, there are some things I can't do that other people can just do in their homes. And so I feel like I have to live life differently and it I think it's the best experience I that I could make of like my 20s too I'm just having fun with it so I love it thank you for watching
watching our video and for stopping by Tiny House Expedition. I'm Alexis. And I'm Christian. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for more tiny home tours and stories, click the videos below. And join us on Instagram for bonus content. Including face-to-face -face conversations with us. <laughs> we hope to see you there. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.